Hey guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, senor and senorita, madame and monsieur. So today I would like to discuss a programming wise things that are related to stress, resilience, uh, consistency versus sustainability, obviously programming and periodization and the thing that is called a hybrid training or in my vocabulary, how I treat it, is goal cycling or chasing three rabbits and catching all three. Shall we start? Now, in regarding to stress, we all familiar with the basic gas uh, principle or gas chart, which is uh, by uh, scientist Hans Lier. Uh, which is the general adaptation syndrome. Now I will look like the boring teacher in the high school, although I will do my best not to bore you too much. Okay, so we are familiar with this graph. Basically, we start from point A, training. This one is detraining after my session. My abilities go down. Basically, it's the positive damage that we do. Then we supercompensate and we go back and forth, back and forth until the end of our training cycle, which is beautifully written in the Excel sheet with colors, tables, gnomes, uh, maybe some functions, um, etc., etc. Very beautiful Excel chart and wait and see. Now, while this is true physiologically, there is another graph that unfortunately uh, we do aware of, yet none of the coaches talk about broadly. At least this is something that I have not encountered. So, here we go with the general adaptation syndrome. <clears throat> Another chart that is running very silently in the background is called AS. Now, ACC, it's not air conditioning, although it's summer, uh, at least here, it stands for accumulative. S stands for stress. Now, this is something we accumulate during the week, the days, the hour, the minutes, and the whole life that we live. And this is a game changer, because if you do not take this one into consideration, this one will flunk and usually do. Now, what does it chart, this chart say? It says that basically our uh, cumulative stress, stress that we accumulate and build up during our like uh, daily uh, routine is consistently going down. Now, please do not derive the actual time Okay, because what I'm drawing here may take years, months, week. Please grasp the principle, general idea, and take it to your own life, apply it. So this graph always goes down. Now, this is what we do. Basically here I practice, you know, I go, I lift iron, I bend iron, I do calisthenics, I run, I lift bells, whatever. Regardless of this stress, there are daily stress, boss, money, kids, health, life, COVID, politics, you name it, okay? Every possible shit that you cannot say, that you can think of happens here. Now, our body, our hormonal system, hormonal system, our um, nervous system doesn't care and doesn't know where my stress levels 
are from pulling a Rex deadlift or because I had a fight with my wife, I had a fight with my boss and now I'm like driving blindly to work thinking whether I'm going to divorce, divorce whether I'm going to uh, quit my job, how I'm going to um, pay for my mortgage, etc, 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 where I'm going to take the money for my kids' operation. These are merge. So there is another one that, sorry, runs above. This is, let's call it SL, stress limit. So basically this stress limit is like my, let's talk about money for a second, okay? If I have income of $100 per month, just for simple math, and I live, my bills, total, whatever, expenditure is $50 per month, then I am having a delta of $50, okay? This is, the, this is this limit. We all have our stress limit, based on our childhood, our past, our previous experiences. And this beautiful delta, this field between, is what resilience is all about. How much shit can I take, can I sustain, before shit hits the fan and I'm going completely nuts. The bigger this one is, okay, the farther they from each other, the far I am from nervous breakdown. The farther I am from losing my temper, from losing my cool. And the bigger they are, the farther they are, the better I can perform here. Because if you take our $50 from our previous example, basically the $50 allows me to drink beer and play bowling. I'm taking the great El Bundy from Married with Children experience, my childhood hero <laughs> and my coach, <laughs> the first one, uh, to play beer, uh, to play bowling and to have beer with my buds. All right? Now, if my expenditure goes up, yet my income doesn't, sorry, I'm having less and less money, okay, to play bowling and drink beer, and closer I am to the limit where shit hit the fan and I'm going on a rage trip. Now, people who are close to here, these are people who usually cannot hold themselves. Now, I'm taking a very farther example. They hit their kids, they hit their wives, they feel very sorry after, but they just cannot manage because they're living very close. Now, this one contributes because if this beautifully designed and colorful Excel sheet tells you to grind and to break the barber. You will have fewer and fewer pennies left to cool things down. So this is the resilience. And what we want to do is we obviously can do two things. We can either by time take our limit down, doing some practices, some training. So I'm like, it's instead of earning $100, I begin to earn one, uh, $150, okay, $1,500 I believe while my expenditure stays the same, like 50, 70, and then I'm cool. 
Okay, I'm easy, I'm nice, I can play bowling, drink beer, have fun with my buddies, and home is silent, work is silent, and my progress in the training room, in the weight room, going fine. So the Excel sheet is happy. Yet it is not the discussion of this post. Let's say we cannot take our uh, resilience, our stress level down. We cannot train. This is what we have. The other thing that we can do, we can manage these fluctuations. Meaning, and bear with me for the second. So if somewhere here, I feel that I have, I'm at my lowest and I have a training session coming up, this is where the intuition, aka mindfulness in my language, as I said before, I'm not talking about the holistic, uh, let's say, uh, cognitive, mental, new age mindfulness. I'm talking about physiological mindfulness, something very down to earth. Uh, I refer to it, and my trainees know it, the way of the sword, where I'm at one and totally present. Now, this is where life fucks up a beautiful Excel sheet, and it is beautiful that it does so. Because if I'm aware, I save myself from unnecessary injury, one, and saving myself a lot of money to unnecessarily treatment, two, which in some will allow me to drink beer and play bowling with my buddies, as the great El Bundy, to the great El Bundy. Now, I tell you, coffee is the best lunch. Now, Okay, let's, back, let's, get back, uh, let's get back here. So this is the intuition. Regardless of what the Excel sheet tells me, I'm feeling that when I go to the gym, that I'm not in my best. If I understand the correspondence between the two, I will know that pushing this practice so if I am saying that the Excel sheet is preferable, okay, I'm, uh, it's the mandatory, it's the must, I understand that in turn it will plunge my stress level down. With this being said, and understanding the mindfulness, the inner intuition, I can choose Oh, sorry, I no, I like uh, erase the can, please. I am choosing. I'm making a conscious choice to manage life. Meaning that I can take step back from some projects, from my family. Now it's not going back to my mom and <laughs> and live in the attic. Okay, with Gun and Roses posters, whatever. No, it's telling the family that listen, guys, daddy must submit himself to the beautifully designed Excel sheet, very colorful and, and nice, like children, like a children coloring book. So please, don't come close to me, otherwise I will kill you, or something like this. And then your wife and kids said, "All right, daddy." Now we know. Thank you for letting us know. They take step back, okay? Not touching you. You can finish the cycle if you have to by eliminating the life stressors, be it work, okay? I'm giving example for family because first of all, it's funny. Second of all, most of us have it and can relate to it. But take any example from your own life. Okay, and I'm allowing the stress levels to slowly even up. 
because this, the gas principle, the physiological graph, the physiological behavior of my muscle nervous system is much quicker. It's much simple than my daily day stressors. This is what intuition is all about. Now, those of you who saw that I'm going to trash the Excel sheet and said, you know what, forget about it. You feel that you're tired. You know, like, let's do some, um, like, I don't know, like cardio machine, biceps curl, you know, some uh, CrossFit style workout and call it a day. No, because here we come to consistency versus sustainability. Now, if you've been following me till now, you understand that consistency, consistency sorry, is overrated. Why? Guys, girls, ladies and gents, we are all in this game of fitness practice training for life. We are junkies. We are fucking consistent as they come. Okay, so please let go of this concept. Please. You've been training for 20, 30, whatever years. What you cannot do, and if you're mixing these two, then you are badly messed up, injured, uh, resentful, and do not understand why the fuck can I pick, is because the sustainability and sustainability is very simple. Simple question. For how long, depending on this one, can I fulfill the beautiful, colorful Excel sheet? How long can I take the beating before I'm going to beat somebody else? And this is the only, really, the only parameter, really training parameter, that is must be taken into consideration. And this is what is hybrid or goal cycling or multiple goal, goals, planning and coaching stuff that I do when I don't film and curse, <laughs> happens. You tell me how long can you work and I will produce as precise as I can workout plan for you. Because when you're 20, no kids, no wife, no mortgage, barely no job. Oh yeah, <laughs> a game on motherfucker. You can break these sheets like nuts. When you're both 40 and life happens to you and when life have and when life happens to you is like truck driving back and forth back and forth running over takes reverse running back running over you take reverse running back welcome to an adult life bitch you cannot train like this yearly six weeks here 12 weeks there you pick the you recycle because you must manage the resilience, the overlife, the accumulative stress prior to playing with this one. Okay, so these two we take into consideration. Now, when we are sustainable, sorry, let's get back to this one. Here you have the side, and thus we must talk about programming and you will excuse me for one more time while I raise the board. And we're back. Okay. Now let's talk programming. So when we talk about hybrid training or goal cycling, we usually address no more than three goals. Why? Because we have only one pie. And if you cut the pie too thin, you basically have nothing left. So I have the one, two, three, the numbers here, okay? One being my main goal. Let's say you're training for the 
Giri Voice Sport competition or powerlifting competition. Uh, and you know what? Let's dismiss the word competition because it's a bad word. It subjects to you to producing results. And please, I'm sorry if I'm hurting someone else like ego, but unless you're getting paid for competition, you are a very skillful amateur, which is amazing enthusiast the train for his own results okay so please bear this in mind too competitive athletes it's their job it's a different ball game and what i've been talking here less or even no non-relevant to them Now, let's take, let's see, we're doing some of these. This is the main. And this one is subjected to the Excel sheet, the same beautiful, colorful Excel sheet. And let's say we can be sustainable for 12 weeks. So we checked our schedule, okay, we saw how our life work ratio manages. We're telling everybody, including our boss, our friends, family, guys, I'm going on an adventure. I will be an asshole at some point or another because it will take out of me. So please be patient, be mindful, and empathic when you see me acting kind of strange just pretend that I'm not there okay don't make a fuss let it be okay you said it you clean the table now these two you train yet you enjoy as I am running and swimming back to intuitive training we said that we have, okay, two graphs. One being the general adaptation syndrome. So basically this is my GS or PL, okay, powerlifting cycle. And this is the Excel sheet and the 12 week plan. This is the sustainable zone. Underneath, we're having the accumulative stress that is running. So within this area, I am doing my other activities. So let's say, and I will give you a true example. I once did I was training to get a voice sport competition or a sorry event. Okay, there was some event I was training to. It was the main one. Second one was running, I was preparing to my first half marathon. And third one goal was maintaining, okay, and slowly pushing the strings. Okay, the basic barbell, old school fundamental strings because it's beautiful and it's mandatory if you want to be and stay healthy and injury free. Now the GS, as we said, was subjected to this running and strengths when they occurred now i train i train uh, usually at same days because my schedule allows it and as we all know when you um, build the habit of training monday wednesday friday 
you already psyched up, you're ready, you go to the gym, you produce the work. Running and um, was kind of more randomly. Sometimes I could, sometimes I couldn't. So I ran more within this area. So if I felt that today, and here's the beautiful thing, I do not care about the psychology of uh, the, the circumstances. I don't care in this matter, whether it's because uh, I spent too much money, now I'm in overdraft, or I fought with my boss, or like suddenly three of my clients left and I'm uh, being very anxious of where the money is going to come from, I don't care. I feel that today, when I need to run, I'm kind of in this zone. So since my general stress are low and I am this one that is mandatory, I must push there, I run less. So usually my benchmark in running is four kilometers because four kilometers is the basic level between a, the 10 kilometers and it's almost quarter of half marathon. So when I, uh, as long as I sustain these runs at any state, I can build up from them when tables will turn in the other cycle, and this is periodizing, basically prioritizing, basically periodization here is prioritization, making a priority, sorry for my English, between this three. So three months I'm talking, I'm, I'm taking more seriously kettlebells, then three months it's more seriously strength, then three months is running. So they will interplay in between. This is the beauty. This allows the psychological restoration and physiological restoration of energy system and, or, and um, of our general physiology. So I'm running 10K. Let's say another time I go for a run and I never plan it. Okay? I just go for a run and I know that I'm going to do at least four. Then whatever happens, happens. And I find myself in this zone. So I may run 10 kilometers easily because my body can, can sustain it. And since I'm not doing this as harshly as my main cycle, I have a lot of spare money. It's like savings, okay? It's like burying cash in one's wallet and like when you accumulate enough cash, like, you know, these big piles of money and you see something that costs like $1,000 and you have 10,000, it's 10%. You say, ah, no problem. And you buy. But if you will buy $1,000 toy each day, you will be very quickly run out of money. Plain logic. Same place here. So I fluctuate. Once four, one ten, sometimes twelve, maybe seven, maybe eight. And I'm slowly, slowly building okay, this white base. When the time has come and I'm switching to my run, and very soon I have my fourth uh, half marathon, this is what is going to happen. I'm going to switch, and with this accumulation by intuitive running. I don't have and I never ran more than two times per week. I never did any specific training. I just run feeling mindfully, intuitively, where I am on the stress um, on the stress level. Okay, it resembles an equalizer. Okay, you feel when where are you? Uh, and 12 weeks prior to the competition, I subject the running to some less beautiful, okay, more ugly and lazy Excel sheet that works. Because eventually, it's not about how Excel sheet looks, it's about the results you produce. So, uh, here you go about stress.
understanding the resilience and programming. Hope it helps. Hope you take uh, more out of this. And if you have any questions, please DM me, DM me uh, leave a comment, and I will be gladly to assist you to become even better than you are today. Have a beautiful day.